love everything. I don't want to be misquoted. Right, all I'm all running said, out of time. Can we make this quick? Yeah, yeah, of course. All, all I'm saying is that there is an, it's impossible, it's logically inconceivable that dependent things can depend upon dependent things ad infinitum. All I'm saying that's is that... That's why they're not infinite. Nobody yeah, claims yeah. that. Yeah. Nobody claims that. Fundamental that's, particles that's, don't so depend you, on anything. Pardon? Can Which you one? prove to me that fundamental particles right, depend I'm on anything? I'm out of here. Anything? Yes. <laughs> they depend okay. upon other things. Of course they do. Well, come here and you prove to me that they don't. Come, come, come. You're the one trying to prove something to me. The burden of proof is on no, you. No, no, no. I've said, you're, you've just made a claim, actually. You said that... Uh, no, I've said that... Julia, sorry. Necessarily for Julia, your argument, you need to prove you, a thing. No, no. You said, you said, right. you said that particles don't depend on anything. Can you prove that for me, please? No, I've said that for your argument to hold, you need to show that fundamental particles don't depend on anything. Here? Okay? All right, so here's the thing. What you, what you and Aaron couldn't deal with is, and uh, this is the new atheist movement, subhanAllah, the new atheist movement is crumbling right in front of me. One by one, every single one of them cannot deal with this argument. And it's not because of, by the way, it's, it's, I can't believe it. Like, you know, it really, all it, all it took was just a little bit of bringing out an argument, and the whole new atheist movement in front of my very okay. eyes Could is you, crumbling. instead of preaching, now, make your argument? No, no, I will make my argument, Julia. Grandstanding, not preaching. Yes, sorry. Pardon? Grandstanding, not preaching. Don't worry, don't yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I was going to say, Julia, is you, you said, Particles don't depend on, on anything. I'm right? talking about fundamental, fundamental particles. particles. No, I'm problem. saying no. Can you prove that? I am telling I'm telling you that for your argument to hold, you need to show that fundamental particles don't depend on anything. That's Julia, all I'm saying. What you said, Julia. You yeah. said right here, right now, and it was on the camera. And I'm not a liar. I say I believe that that's the case. Okay, can you but prove it? No, you said no prove I, it. Can't, I can't. I can't prove it. So why are you making a claim? No, because I'm telling you that for your argument to hold, you need to show that that's that what? the case. That fundamental particles depend on something. Okay, they depend upon the laws of nature. If this proof me. Wait, no. Oh, wait a minute, no. No, they, no. what do you mean they depend on the laws the of laws nature? The laws of physics. Which are? Which are presupposed by the study of science. Can you, no, no, no. Can you tell me what the laws of physics are? There are many. If you want to go and see a book on it, I'll, I'll, I'll direct okay, you. Okay, no, no, no. no look, I'm somebody question, who studies me... physics. Right, I ask... want you to tell me right. what you think the laws of physics me, are. Because me... physicists don't know. That's okay, the problem. Okay, well, let me answer your question. As someone who studies physics, yeah. you're still an undergrad, right? Yes, I am. Okay, so you're in your first year? Yes, I am. All right, so someone like Martin Rees has wrote, wrote a book on just six numbers. I don't know who that is. Okay, so you should know because this is a person who's actually outlined the six fundamental constants. Or among them, for example, N. Uh, N equals nature. He actually calls it N for nature. And he says that that is, uh, and that's what he was talking about, the numbers that, that detail the, the laws of nature, for example. He, he mentions six Char. different numbers, E, N. Uh, those, are, those are numbers of mathematics rather than physics. They are physics. What are you no, talking e, about? E, e, um, what, what, what Euler's university number. You, what university did you Imperial study? Imperial College London. Okay, so I'm sure you're clever enough to know that when, when, physics, when mathematics is applied to the uh, cosmos, it's, because it's called physics. You've just done yes, your A-levels. mathematics. No, done... I'm, I'm from Germany. I did my abitur. Okay, you've done that. So you know, you know the deal, right? So I don't have to tell you that. I mean, I'm not a physicist, but you should know this. Well, I know that uh, physics is an attempt to mathematically describe the universe. There you the have best so, we have so is the Martin standard model. So good, Martin Rees said that, he got six numbers. He said, what are the rules? It can be described in different uh, ways. Martin Rees has got his uh, standard What are way. those numbers except for E? And he's got uh, e equals, uh, uh, N equals nature, which he said uh, that... Which is, is mathematically meaningless. No, let me explain. Well, he's got, he actually gave a number, which is 0 0.07. What, what significance does 0 0.07 have? Is it called physics when mathematics is applied to universal law? Yes. Okay, so uh, when he says 0 0.07 is a number n, which is applied to the universe, is that math is that physics? How or not? does he apply to the universe? Well, he looks at well, look at e for example, right? Yes, e is he comes from the, mathematics. The, right. So he, he says that that's the conversion <laughs> of um, helium into energy, for example. No, e is. I mean, if we're talking about Epi Euler's Epson, constant, Epson. epsilon, uh, whatever it is. Well, right? epsilon gets used for a lot of different things. Right. So he uses it in his own way, and he gives it. He gives his own articulation of it. I go and check the preference of this book for the introduction. Okay, look. The, what, you're saying, what you're saying what you're saying right now argument? is that there are seven numbers which are important. Six. Six okay. According to Martin go, Rees. Go for it. Six numbers are important. Right. How does this relate to the fundamental you like, said, particles? No, your question was that particles uh, don't depend on anything, they're independent. I'm saying to you No, I'm saying you have to show that. Do you believe that particles are independent? Uh, of what? You said just don't please don't retract your argument because I'm watch this Josh. This is what Christian missionaries need to learn. Now, you're saying that particles are independent. Yes or no? I'm saying they're fundamental no, no, particles. No, no, because you, you were trying to interrupt me. I'm saying me when that, I was that to the best of my knowledge, yeah, yeah. there what, are a certain what, what, amount what, of fundamental. Like, 
what I'm basing yeah. this off yeah. is yeah. the standard model, which is yeah. the best model we have for the universe right now. Right. It is incomplete. All physicists Perfect. will admit that it's incomplete. No problem. But Julia, you said that the particles, uh, fundamental particles, don't yes. depend on every anything. They're she said that. they're not composed of anything else. No, no. You said, unless you want to retract that statement, which is what every atheist does when they're in front of me. No, you said that fundamental particles don't depend on anything. I believe that to be the case. Right. I do not claim that it's true. Perfect. Now, do you believe that fundamental particles don't depend on anything? Uh, I believe that to be the case, Excellent. but I'm not claiming that Julia, that's true. Thank you for saying that, because now what you've shown is that you believe in the existence of an independent being. <laughs> but the only thing is, no, 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 hold on, hold on. The only thing is now. Do you know now, how many fundamental no, particles no, no, there no, are? No, 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 no problem. But you accept mm. because before you were saying there's no such thing as a necessary thing. You're saying now no, that there is. No, hold on, Julie. I, and you're going to retract your statement because that's what every atheist does in front of me. You said... You're putting words in my no, mouth. No, no, it's on camera. You said you believe... You just said it four minute, two, two minutes ago. You just said you believe that fundamental um, particles are not dependent on anything. By definition, what you're effectively saying is you believe fundamental particles I mean, are independent. Now, what I'm saying is... Technically, what right. I'm saying when I, when I, what I say, what I mean when I say fundamental particles is... what you mean. Is, That's what you meant. No, no, no. I'm just explaining what the standard model says. Right, but okay, go ahead. Fundamentally... Yeah. According to quantum field theory, fundamental right. particles are essentially just energy spikes in no a field. No problem, but your belief... And so they sort of belief. depend on energy. Julia, you shouldn't have come here today and tried to challenge me. Because what you've done, no seriously, you should really think about it before you come and stand and make claims uh, without no, no, revising no, I've it. I've told you what you need to Julia, show me. Julia, to you know, make I don't need to show you anything. You yes, have, you do. You shouldn't have come here because what you've done now is you've given me exactly what I wanted. In the beginning, you said that I have to prove that there's a necessary independent being. Now you've just said you believe that fundamental particles are not dependent on your words exactly. You believe. You said I believe yeah. fundamental particles are not dependent on anything. Now all I'm saying as a Muslim is that my my understanding of so God, let, me, let me finish. God is a, let me, is a muon. Let me finish. Let me finish. No, no, your God. My is you know, yeah. Your God is a new, uh, is is that. The only difference between my God and your God is size. That's the only difference. Here's, no, honestly, you, you need to understand, you're not an atheist anymore in front of me. I've converted you straight to Islam. The only thing you need to do... No, no, no. All you need to know and believe in is, is the right attributes of God and uh, the Prophet Muhammad as the messenger. So does, does, and obviously, does, if you want to believe in Jesus... Is Muhammad oh, the Prophet, the messenger of no, 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 an electron, no, no, no. a photon? No, listen to me. You, you said that... And also, I will Julie, add... Julie, Julie, no, you don't need to add anything. You've given me exactly what I want to no, hear. No, 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 no. I haven't. Add it. You said I that you believe that fundamental beginning. particles are independent. That's what she said, not dependent on anything. That's the definition of independence. Now, if you believe in an independent entity... Now, let me tell you something from an Islamic perspective. And you have to understand this. Can I, let me just finish, sorry. I, I think the word independent is very misleading you in this it, context. Wait a minute, you said not dependent on anything. How could, someone, how could something be not dependent okay. on anything Can and not independent? Can you let me clarify? Yes, please. I think the word dependent is very misleading because it, like, fundamentally, even inside the standard model, things to, like are interdependent. They're just interdependent on a fundamental mm -hmm. level. And the thing is, I know that the standard model isn't complete, so there is some deeper layer somewhere. So it's interdependent. Right? Oh yeah, they're interdependent. So what fundamental particles are interdependent? Well, in the sense that everything relies on energy to some extent. Have, everything, I know, I know, as yeah. I said, particles are essentially just expressions of energy in a quantum field. Julie, thank you. You're contradicting yourself. Because interdependence entails dependence. If you're saying that fundamental particles are interdependent, you're saying it's dependent. Then you said that you're it's not dependent on anything. That's mouth. a contradiction. Either you're you putting, want to believe in this or that. And that's what atheists do. Josh, you, Josh, this you're is what atheists do. Yeah. Uh, Julie, is there anything you want to add? Sorry, is okay. it, we're done here. Is there anything no. you want to add? One yes, of course. Um, you're talking about if he's putting okay, on that, it's a pity that people that give you a chance yeah, to yeah. give you a full argument. Content of my heritage from Yagam Benami Man say it straight, man don't listen to BBC, man don't listen to ITV. Three you. weeks ago you was here listen. and you had your uh, Make America Great Again hat on. And things didn't go, things didn't go too well. One of the uncles picked up your ladder and threw it over the, over the bush. What do you think about that? You see? The people who were harassing me in the black uh, community, they are called black intellectuals. If you follow them, they are Judas. They are the ones 